Okay, special tasks of the day. Wash gym clothes, sterilize locker, ask out Claudia. English out charming. I'll let you know if that's gonna work for me. Guys, guys, come here. The Stone of Stefano. So you put these crystals in the proper order, <gasps> then a portal or something opens up into another world. The wheel is an immensely powerful force. I hate to burst your personal bubble, but um, you're not real. Paris Pendleton, you just became a magnet for all that is real. Paris, <laughs> there's a, a reason, right? Fellow teammates, got room for one more? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take that as a no, but only a temporary one. Okay. Do you want to sit over there? Sure, only because being second choice makes you feel so special. Paris, they can't see you, they're popular. They shun us in our outsider ways. That is the football team table. I'm on the football team, therefore, I'm on the inside. Harris, this is gonna be where you're gonna spend the rest of your school life, next to those tray racks, with your, um, friends. Um, I think it's a little early in our acquaintance to use the term friends. I prefer to use the term... Okay, friends is good, friends is good. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this lunch? The cutlery gave it away, right? Oh, man, I, I got a detention. I'll see you guys later. How did you get a pudding cup? Got here early. I need to replan my route to the cafeteria. Go for it. My pudding cup is your pudding cup. Oh, thank you. Thanks. So, any weird news? Monsters, apparitions, spooky little kids with scary hairdos? Nothing's happened and nothing will. Harris, you angered a god. You have as much chance of escaping the weird as you do sitting at the cool table. <laughs> Fenella, I am going to sit at the cool table. You are an hallucination. Harris Pendleton, you just made an enemy of the wrong god. For as long as you exist, I will set forces to inflict chaos upon life. Instead of practicing field goals again, I might um, join in with the others. Well, you know, the team that bonds together wins together. Okay, get out there. Really? You're scrimmaging it up. Come on, go, move it. Hi, guys. Uh, you're looking good. You're looking darn good, like a couple of tigers. Um, hey, uh, maybe we can share some uh, amusing training anecdotes tomorrow over lunch, you know, at your table. Hey, coach, the English kid got on the field. Oh, no, no, no. Well, that's okay, son. Just, uh, put him through his paces. Paces. All right. Why don't I, uh, throw you a few balls? You run him back. Run him back. Gotcha. Uh, uh how, how do I do that again? Well, I throw you the ball, and you run back. <laughs> right, sorry. Uh, do I run back with the ball, or do I leave it out there for the next person? Hamilton, just go. Okay, okay, I'm going. Okay, hey guys. Code red. Come on, move it! Scream it up! Wow! Natural sporting ability! Hey, guys! Ah! Harris? Harris? Hey, coach! Harris, give us a minute. Harris, you all right, man? Son, you okay? Oh, I'm okay. 
I'm okay. Get out of my way here for a second. You hear me, son? Son! You all right? Son, can you hear me? Harris? Harris, can you hear me? He can't hear you, but I sure can. Back off and let me do my work, girl. Horse bear. It's okay. I know what happens next. Someone in a white turtleneck waves through me high mist and tells me there's been a terrible mistake. No hurry. Did you see Lassie? Elvis. Uh, I met Elvis. I'll call the paramedics. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. He'll walk it off. Right, son? Come on, help him up, boys. Come on, help him up. <laughs> you sure you're all right? I'm fine. Apart from Coach's handprints on my chest. Look, there's really no reason to fuss. Harris, your heart stopped. We're entitled to fuss. Look, no big deal. I don't know, Harris. It sounded kind of rough. Well, what do we know, Hugo? We've never had friends who've killed us before. Okay, they were a tiny bit over-enthusiastic, but that just goes to show we have a strong rapport. Are you ever desperate to sit at the cool table? I'm breaking down barriers. Someone as open-minded as you should appreciate that. In fact, why don't you try it with Claudia? Hmm. I would, only social climbers make me break out in hives. You see? That's reverse cliqueism. No, it's high school. Reality check. In ten years, who will care who he sat with at lunch? I will. So, what happened? Tunnel, white light, overwhelming feeling of lung protection, right? No, no, there was a food court and a gift shop. Was there pizza? <laughs> hey, there he is! The Draper High Superman! You took a serious hit out there. You gotta learn to take it easy. So, so, so if you died and, and came back to life, that would make you the walking undead, right? That's creepy. I think undead is sort of sexy. Oh, that would explain your last three boyfriends. I want to hear all about your near-death experience. <laughs> There's nothing to tell, really. Oh, come on. I can pad. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come and sit with us? Oh, okay. Huh? Yeah. No, no, no. You stay. Uh, well, we'll call you later then, Harris. He'll come back, right? <laughs> 